right, guys, so here's another um, how to in this series on the Test 4 um, M1 um, robot vacuum cleaner. If you haven't already seen, there's a playlist with a whole series of videos on the Test 4 M1. So what we're gonna be doing today is covering off uh, the remote control. So I've found the remote control super easy to use. Um, it's very basic, very straightforward, especially if you're not keen on using the uh, Google Assistant or the Alexa um, or Alexa. Uh, you'll get along fine with just using the remote control. The kids can use it quite easily. Again, if you are into all the tech stuff, um, you, you'll probably love the app as well. So, and what I did purposely, when I actually got the Test 4 M1, I did not download the app at all. I just used this religiously for the first couple of weeks, just to make sure um, it ticked all the boxes um, and I could do a really good review for you. All right, so I'll take you through the remote control. Right, so this is the unit itself. Now, when you actually receive it, um, it doesn't come with any batteries. So the back just slides off. It's got just two AAA batteries. So um, pop those in, okay. So when that first comes on, you'll have a protective cover on, this, on the screen. Um, I've peeled that off, okay. Um, that's simply the on-off button. So you simply just point it at the vacuum cleaner to switch it on, okay. Um, this button here is for the systematic clean. So basically, to first initially use it, switch the robot vac on, press that, and then that's it. And then it just goes and does what it does. But this here, for whatever reason, um, during the clean, you might have had enough or you want it to go home. If you press this home button, and actually on the vac itself, the vac itself actually has an on off button and a home button as well. So wherever you are, if you find it somewhere in the house and you want to send it home, if you don't have the remote on you, simply press the home button on the vac and it will find its way home. Now, this is also dependent on the fact that you actually haven't picked up the vac or used the remote to control the vac. So when you first use it, if you just press on and press systematic clean, it will go off and clean and it will automatically know where the base is, the recharging base, and it will automatically return to it. If for whatever reason you utilize the remote control to maneuver um, the robot somewhere, or if you actually physically pick up the robot, then it won't know where the base is. Um, it will find its way back to the base, but what it will do, it will follow all the edges of the wall until it gets back to the base. Okay, no big deal. <laughs> all right, as I mentioned before, so the center button is basically a confirm button. Um, and then basically, if you wanna actually take the vac somewhere specific, you can basically just point the remote control um, again, it's infrared. So you point the remote control at the vac and then you basically set the direction. So you would basically spin it around and I'll, I'll show you all this, but you will basically spin it around uh, and then press forward and it will go forward. Go a bit to the right, then go forward. A bit to the left, then go forward, okay? So that's pretty straightforward. Now there's different um, suction speeds. There's a low and a high, okay? So you might want um, basically it to be a little bit quieter. Or for instance, on floorboards, you really only need to use the low suction. Whereas on carpets, I tend to use the high suction. So, but more so I find to, I tend to use it if I want it a little bit quieter, which is fantastic. Then you've also got this button here, which is an edge clean. So if you press this one, it will actually go around and clean all the edge walls around your house, okay? So, and that's where a lot of the dirt tends to gravitate to and a lot of the dust is all around the edges. And surprisingly, um, with the setup of this Test 4 and how compact the unit is and the way the brushes are situated, yes, it cleans all the edges and yes, it gets into all the corners, <laughs> which is quite amazing, okay? Uh, next functions are clock and a timer. So for instance, if you wanna set the clock, you simply just press the clock button, it flashes, you change the time, Go to the next one, change the time, and then press clock. And that's it, it's set, okay? Now timer, it's 9.52. If you wanna set the timer, so you press timer. Uh, okay, so you wanna set it for, to come on at 7 a.m. in the morning. Let's say, actually say 7.15 or 7.20, 7.30. Let's go for 7.30, press time. 
that's done. Okay, so very straightforward and you can see there it remembers the time. All right, so, and it's that simple. <laughs> Um, so there is one other function which actually isn't on this remote control which is the spot clean so if you want you can direct it to and take it to somewhere specific and then go spot clean but it does not work with this remote control uh, but it does work with the apps okay not sure why, why that was the case but it is what it is so all right now let's uh, show you in action All right, guys, I'm going to take you through all the steps of the remote control. So we'll um, drop through these pretty quickly. All right, so first of all, on off button, press it on. Okay. And then when you want to put it into cleaning mode, and this is the systematic cleaning mode where it just progressively goes and makes its way up and down around the house, so you simply just press this. And off she goes. All right, so you can see from just that small little sample how systematic it works in cleaning. And basically it does your entire house that way, maneuvering around all obstacles and furniture at the same time. All right, so we want to send it home. So let's send it home. So we've pressed the home button and it now goes into recharging mode. So it will find the base. When it gets into a certain distance, it knows exactly where it is, and then it will dock straight away. Charging starts. Okay, and then it does its thing, and it'll charge. Now, you'll basically see on the top, both the on-off button and the home button will continue to flash uh, whilst it's in charge, and then when it finishes charging, then switches that off. All right, let's go for the next functions. So let's um, take it out of its dock. So I've just pressed the center button, and now we shall direct it. So go right, then forward, left, left, forward, right, forward. Once you've held it in position, it will just keep going that direction. Okay. Let's turn it around, press forward. Okay. And do full 360s, forward, reverse, It'll turn around and go backwards. Okay. Nice and easy. All right, so let's just put it in cleaning mode. Now you've got the different fan suctions. So high suction, low suction, high, low. So they're the two modes. Okay, so if I wanted to actually take it to a particular area to clean, all I do is then just press forward. Press the center button to stop. And then what I'll do is from this area here, I'll then put it in its cleaning mode. Let's stop it. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll do the edge cleaning mode. I'll show you that one. Press edge cleaning.
All right guys, so that's the remote control unit. Um, again, it's very simple, straightforward. You can get everything done that you, you need to get done with it. Uh, there's only some very limited functionality um, as far as using the robot, um, which you need yet for, i.e. the spot plane. Um, but otherwise, works brilliantly, so you don't need to be too tech savvy to be using this robot. Um, so, very simple and straightforward. All right, so that's the remote control. And again, if you want to see more videos in this series, go check out the playlist, um, and there's a section on basically everything you need to know about this robot. Fact. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Again, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you know anyone that wants to buy a robot back, um, send them the link. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.